Hello guys. Okay, so I don't know if you remember, I had bought some uh, statues from Home Depot last year, some griffins. So I kept them in my garden for a whole year. However, after a while, I just didn't like the way they looked anymore. They didn't go with my garden the way I thought they would. So I sold them an offer up and I made enough money to buy another statue from Home Depot this year. And this is going to be my last purchase of the year. And it's the, the most expensive one. It was $80. And um, so it's basically, I didn't really spend uh, spend anything because I, uh, I spent whatever I made from the other statues, which, um, I saw them at, at a much lesser price than what I had originally bought them for. But okay. This is the statue. Look at this awesomeness. He is heavy. And as the label says there, he's 30 inches tall. And he is just really well made. Let me take this label off. Okay, this is what he looks like. So the label says griffin, but he's not a griffin. He's a gargoyle. So I'm not sure why they would call him a griffin. And uh, this is not a Halloween item per se. It's for my garden. And as many of us do, Halloween is when we buy a lot of stuff for our home that we can use throughout the year. And he is definitely going to look um, well in my garden. And he's definitely one that I'm going to keep um, forever until he breaks or until the, the elements do him in. And this is what he looks like on the side. He is so awesome. And this is what the back side looks like. And what I really like about him too, you could buy two and you can have them flank your porch or something like that because they are mirror images of each other. He looks well by himself as well. So this, I give it to, um, I give a lot of props to Home Depot. They made a really good job with this gargoyle. And he's very well made, and uh, let's see how long he'll last until he crumbles. And this is all I wanted to share with you guys, and um, very happy with this purchase.